Hail to the motherfucking yeah. Welcome y'all to Shadow Judgment. I'm sorry I forgot that today was Saturday and not Friday again. I am a try to remember to set an alarm. A try. Because we all know I have the mind of a fucking goldfish. Thank goodness phones have calculators <laughs> and shit. Oh my god, I told my husband that like he was supposed to have this Sunday off. And it wasn't until next Sunday because my sister is getting married. I want to wish my sister a wonderful congrats on her wedding. She's getting married. Like, I'm so happy for her. She has, like, a good dude. He hates her brother, so that's a plus. <laughs> I'm, like, really proud of her, man. Like, she is such a genius in the family. Like, she embarrasses me. And I'm, like, really sometimes jealous. But at the same time, like, damn it, I couldn't ask for a better little sister. Congrats to you, dude. I'm so glad you're not an asshole. <laughs> Alright, who are we reading for for this week? This is going from now until... Well, today's Saturday, but I'm definitely not going to be recording Saturday. Well, I might. I don't know. I'll probably do it in the morning, but it's going to be the 11th. From now to the 11th, since, like, I fucked up. Anyway. Who is... Not gonna let me finish his sentence. Well, it's goddamn water. They just walked right on the fucking floor and left me hanging. Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going all the way until next Friday. I'm just making sure to say that because I'm gonna forget in the next three videos. Anyway. Remember, if this resonates with you, a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just check your charts, let it go, boop your nose, and away we go. Yes, yes. Wow. Cancer, you're up first, and yours also went to the floor. Eight of Swords. You are pop. You or your crosswatcher. Mind you, crosswatchers switch where you need to. Um, either you're a crosswatcher is definitely. Oh my god. What the fuck has happened? Oh my god. Ah, what is this, Cancer? What are you stuck on? Or what is your person stuck on that's got them feeling trapped in their brain and burdened because they didn't start something or something didn't ignite or something didn't happen? Were you expecting something? Hmm. Oh my god. Okay, Cancer, I think you're the one who's making all the cards go to the floor. I just walked in the damn door. Y'all come here with your asses. Okay. Bub up. That's another eight. Cancer, what the fuck? Dude, like, what is going on with you and your peeps? It seems like there's some, like, unsettling... All right, Cancer, like, mm. Here's the Eight of Pentacles, right, as well. Those are all those cards, right? We got the devil in here, and I'm not surprised. I want to turn that down real quick, because that's really loud, and it's making me yell. How loud is this, Matthew? Why is it a 30, Matthew? Or was that me? That was probably me. I shouldn't be yelling at my husband. It was probably me. Anyway, Cancer. There is some um, crazy shenanigans going on around here, right? So, like, look at someone gave up. And it's almost like they there was an enemy trying to approach, or maybe they felt like they weren't going to get a victory and they, like, Either you or your crosswatcher probably clammed up and went in defensive mode, right? Like you went into one of those things where you just decide, I'm not talking to the person again, they hurt my feelings and shit, right? That could happen. Or maybe this person feels this way with you, one of the two. But there, it, it, it's like... It goes from seven to six and straight up to fucking nine. Like you didn't, like you or your person either didn't care to fight, cared even less about being a loser, but gave a shit greatly about, um, 
protecting themselves. So I don't know what this fight's all about. You might have been protecting your some your, uh, if I could talk today. Thank you. You might have been protecting yourself from um, someone you might have even perceived as a threat to you and your person, right? Oh, I don't know why I'm shuffling. Hold on. <laughs> so, like, look at, right? Someone's bound in their head. Stuck in their brain about something they walked away from because I think they felt like it was the right thing to do. But they almost want to take a journey to a really bitter empress, right? Who they might feel like they missed an opportunity with or grieving with. And they got to make a decision with this. <clears throat> Does this have something to do with a burden of not taking any action towards a person from the past? In either case, this person wants to come to this empress who will, I don't know, she might curse him out. I don't know. I feel like she could if she's that bitter. Um, I'm not sure. But there's also this energy of wanting to work out the shit, right? Let's see. Mm, what would be helpful in this? Cause I'm not entirely sure, Cancer. Cause this this one seems kind of hefty. For one thing, let's see. Um, why is this bothering you? I guess would be a good one. Cause I'm not sure which one to pick. They're all kind of doozies. Why? Like, why is this bothering you so much? Oh. So, it's a threat. Okay, um, Gancer, this is kind of like, what the fuck? Okay, who is shooting the arrow at the person walking away? I swear, Cancer, yours is always dramatic. Someone's shooting, um, their fucking weapon at this dude while his back is here. Like, they're watching him walk away. The bitch is in the same colors. It's like she's signaling the dude, like, whoo! Like, uh, like a turkey or something, um, you know, trying to fuck him up as he's trying to go on a new journey or beginning or whatever, right? That's kind of crazy. Someone will take that initiative action to change circumstances, and, and they're holding that thing ready, but, you know, their arm's gonna get tired. Like, he's kind of holding it for a long time, isn't he? If I can't have you, nobody will? Why am I hearing that? <laughs> I'm getting this. It's like someone wants to embrace the beast. But it's almost like if they don't get that change, let's shoot his arrow. It, it, like, Cancer, someone here is conflicted this week for you. Someone doesn't know if they want to shoot a mother the shoot the lion or hug the lion. I'm not sure, but somebody's an animal in this. Someone wants to get called up to heaven in all of this. Okay. What? Cancer? Are you confused about your You're confused about your feelings. You have no idea how you actually feel in all of this. I feel like you want the scenario where you could like deal with this person. Maybe both of y'all go up to heaven, feel like you're redeemed by Saint Michael or whatever the fuck his name is, right? But at the same time, I feel like you're afraid that this person has the energy of just wanting to murder you. And that pisses you off, which is like, I, I don't understand because this is you, Cancer. This is like the only water sign that has popped up here. And I can't tell if this is all in your fucking head or if this actually is stuff that's going on around you. I'm not sure. But you're pissed. You're pissed that someone left you a dead fish in a cup and you've been staring at it. Like, you didn't even know that the fish was in the cup. But it's in there. And I think that plays a significant portion in all of this because I feel like eventually someone's going to try to travel without really thinking about it impulsively. Just winging it right it's just they just take that energy to deal with some empress either you or the person you're dealing with in order to work some stuff out mainly about the past and all this shit right but you're livid for some reason but i feel like it's rightfully so right so that's the way i got for you cancer i'm sorry if that was confusing but i feel like i was kind of I, like I, I i felt like someone's a little bit too I feel like you might be dealing with somebody who's possessive and doesn't understand that people don't belong to them. 
Anyway, Scorpio, you're up. What's going on for your week, Scorpio? Can't, yeah, I was definitely Cancer throwing that shit out. Oh, you got the devil. Are you dealing with a Capricorn? Or are you in bondage and enslaved to another, which you cannot separate from because you're addicted to each other? My husband was playing that song earlier. Yeah. The devil might be snooping. Like, if the devil can't get to you, Gemini will. <laughs> I can't remember who fucking said that, but that was some hilarious shit. Uh... Because my sister's a Gemini. Not, not my sister getting married. Another one. Shitty one. Anyway. Back to this. Someone, like the devil might have actually sent a Gemini, actually. Like, twins. Here's a dude who's an air sign. He's snooping. Smear campaign. Doing a little spy shit in the background. Not for the best intentions. Right? Just to fix that broken heart. Devil's moving quick. Or there's some sort of change that's happening. Something that's rapid. This dude right here, he's on the information looking to see if this world actually is closed, I feel like. You might be trying to heal yourself from an Aries or just someone who is in a position of great authority who had control of the household and shit, right? Uh, a lot of options here. Someone keeping guard. Hmm. All right, Scorpio, someone is definitely trying to check up on you to see if the world, all this, whatever, is sealed away and trying to see if you have your guard, which if, if you have any Scorpio in you, you always are on guard. It's very rare you're on guard. Like, I, like there was one time I knew a Scorpio. We had been friends for years. We got drunk once together, and this bitch spent 20 minutes telling me what she really fucking thought about me, and I thought I said mean shit. Oh my god, like a drunk Scorpio can be mean sometimes, but it's like you guys are always on guard, but it's like... With alcohol, you kind of let your guard down a little bit. I think the person kind of almost wants to see when you'll let your guard down with this um, closing of the world. Because, like, you're sitting there watching all of this shit over here. You're, like, you're waiting. You're waiting for something to happen. But you, I feel like you also don't know that this dude's over here. Either that or this dude is looking to realize this, and that's why he's bracing for impact. One of the two, right? But with your week, Scorpio... We got the devil here sending some chains. There's some great chains. Maybe you were bound to somebody. But something's just... Cause movement. Caused, um... What's that one card with the eight of wands? Uh, exceed. Surpass. Great energy. Snapping of a gator, right? It just happens and all of a sudden there are options in front of you. A plethora of them. Any that you can choose. But whichever one you choose will possibly open a door to you. Now, the, you might be also trying to get over some heartbreak with an emperor who's mixed with a queen of pentacles, I feel like. You know, just, just right here, this person was a great emperor, but a lousy spouse, a lousy mother or father figure. I, I feel like these are two of the, I feel like these are the same people in a way. I feel like you're trying to recover from somebody who, like, maybe they're a cool person, um, but I also feel like they just don't know how to, um, they don't know how to only have you as the person they want to have sex with the rest of their life. And that's why there's this open door here. Like, you're getting changes in this, right? You're still kind of bound to them, but something's going to change with that. Something's going to shape with that, right? But something's going to happen between this and this. You might even be judging this Queen of Pentacles if these aren't the same people as the Emperor, right? Also, cross watcher switch where necessary, right? So, what causes the change? I really feel like someone's just looking to see if your guard's down or not, you know? I really feel like that. The change is someone tried to do some tricks and they tripped over that Phoenix. They fucked themselves up. They had their rod nice and tall and hard, and then they, they just fell down the frickin' stairs because they didn't turn the lights on. Towel and all. They just tumbled that... 
<laughs> it's like a white flag of surrender, you know? Anyway, um, yeah, um, mm, their tumble just pissed off the Empress. Um, someone shitty tricks make someone bitter. Oh, because, oh, okay, 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 I gotcha, I got you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Scorpio, you start seeing this person's shit for what it is. Oh my god, and you lay a trap. That's nice. It's always nice to see you guys lay little traps, just to see if you can verify your own uh, paranoia and shit. It makes me feel like I'm not alone in the crazy. Uh, fun fact, if I followed the Vedic uh, astrology, I would actually be a Scorpio rising. And I would have a shit ton of Scorpio in my chart, but I've been in Capricorn too long. I'm not changing to a Sag. Fuck that. Anyway, now look at, right? It's like you see this person doing their tricks, and you already know you're in bondage, but at some point, they keep fucking up on the tricks, right? So now it's just pissing you off, and now it's just like, so are you going to let me know what the fuck's going on, or do I have to leave? Do I have to pack my stuff and then watch and see if you trip your own ass up? Do I have to do all that? Because I'll just leave without a freaking word. I don't care. You know, I feel like that's what you're doing. You just see him as the empress fucking up on the on the damn horse. And then it's just like, why is the church not coming out in this? Like, you know, like this uh, knight of wands might have like tried to bang some chick on the side. Since like, you know, he and the emperor are both fire signs, right? And this could be the emperor energy too. A dude might have went to go get a fling and you might have caught him with your best fucking friend. Because you went to go surprise her for a fucking birthday. Or some weird shit like that. I don't know, but it's like, you catch him doing, like, dumb trick shit. And it's like, it's just, it, the fact that it's dumb just gets to you. You know? And at that point, it's just like, this motherfucker's never gonna tell me whatever. I'm leaving. But there are traps, so be careful, because he's waiting for you to... He might be waiting for you to try to pack your shit, too. So be very careful, Scorpio. That's your week. Good luck to you, man. Damn, like... <laughs> I always get serious with you, Scorpio. Cancers just make me feel, like, terrible. <laughs> I feel like I'm, like, saying the worst shit. Pisces, let's go with you. What's going on for your shadow this week? We got the sun reverse. Maybe you're not too happy. Maybe you are just straight up angry. Okay. Might also be dealing with a um, Cancer or a Scorpio. And a Leo, Pisces. Hmm. It's like unhappiness is all you dug up, and that's what's got you all miffed. That's what got you uh, tempted to kill somebody's kids' pets, right? Mm. Maybe you're not happy with how people have been treating you, or the etiquette that you've been being given out, or someone just doesn't have enough manners. But some secrets came out about this. Hmm. Oh, Pisces, yours is interesting. What the fuck? Okay, so look at right. This is kind of sweet, Pisces. This is like... Mm. There still might be some conflict, but, you know, at least you'll feel better. Um, Pisces, this looks like you almost want to try to reconcile with somebody. Like, there's a, some unhappiness... Page of Pentacles is here, so it might be dealing with an idiot, you know, who doesn't have the best social skills, right? And that, and but that person's guarded as well, or someone's trying to guard against people and are giving them the nasty, nasty, and acting like they're not happy with the situation or whatever, all because they're trying to fix themselves in all this situation. However, when this person's looking over everything that's come about with the Seven of Pentacles. Some secrets about a situation came out that they actually wanted a reason to stick around in order to heal themselves. But they'll fight a motherfucker if they got to now. They are also, possibly you for sure, are irritated at a situation where you have to make a choice or come to some sort of idea that you need to make a decision that you want to come back in from the cold and you're actually going in this direction. 
However, I feel like, much like the Page of Pentacles, you're afraid that the person who's driving the boat is the idiot who, who needs a bell to be found, because he'll, he'll just wander into a fucking ditch somewhere. He's like a Civic from 1997. It just it rolls into ditches. That's, that's what it's good for. And, you're, and I think that's kind of why you're fighting that. It's kind of like, why the fuck do I need to trust you with the boat, dude? Hmm, what are we looking at, Pisces? Let us... <coughs> Let us... Just throw some out there. See, Pisces, I can deal with yours, because at least yours makes sense, and it doesn't give me too in my emotions. You guys are relatively chill people, and I appreciate that. Uh, practicality within emotion is always appreciated by my earth sign ass. Mm. Anyway, so, speaking of emotions, you're having a hard time draining that cup. You or cross watcher, right? Mm. Like, it's like you can't let go of the emotions even though you took the energy to walk away. It was just kind of like, no, I need to go. I need to do this. Goodbye. You know, put, the, put everything to bed. You know, lay it to rest with the Ten of Swords. Get that money and that wisdom on ya. Decide what you really want, you know. <clears throat> I'm not sure about that, Pisces. That's like... Having the you like it's like you got the options and you got all the money and the shit, but now it's like you have to pay for exterminators. Like you got bugs in your house or something like that. Maybe somebody got an infection. It's almost like an inheritance here too. Or maybe this dude murdered this guy in order to get his shit. But then, like, all of a sudden, like, boom, like, I gotta waste all my money on this bullshit now. But, hopefully that made sense to you, Pisces, because this last card just kind of like, oh, okay. Um, that's weird. But, I, well, this usually talks about, like, an investment of some sort. But it's like the investment turned into... It's almost like a hive. If you will, you know, he's, it's almost like he's trying to, you know, like get the fuck off my hand, you know, one of those things. Maybe that'll clear things up because I'm not sure, but water signs, that was your shadow of judgment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you all later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.